Here's how to use Affinity Photo's Focus Merge feature, which you may also recognize by the term Focus Stacking. So to begin with, we will go to File and choose New Focus Merge. Then we'll choose to add our files. I'll click to select my first image, then scroll down and shift click to select the other images and choose Open. Then I'll click OK to begin the Focus Merge procedure. So the principle behind focus merging is to take a series of images where the focal distance is different between each image. So you rack the focus from the front of the subject to the back. Now the reason we do this, especially for macro photography, uh, when the lens is so close to the subject, is you inherently have a very shallow depth of field. So a lot of the image tends to be out of focus. But what if you want the subject to be sharp front to back? Well, then you take a series of images, and what focus merging does is it merges the most detailed or the sharpest areas from each image to produce an overall result that has a much deeper depth of field like this result here. Okay, and we have an area here where the specular highlight has confused the focus merge and the result doesn't look very good but we can easily correct this using this sources panel, which I'll just enlarge here. So we start with the clone brush selected, and what this allows us to do is if we just select an image from the list here and use this toggle source preview icon, it allows us to preview all of the individual images that make up the final focus merge. So I can go right to the bottom here where the final image has a much sharper area here. And then I can just toggle source preview again to get back to my overall focus merge. So with the clone brush selected, what I can do is just clone in this area from this image. To do this, I'll reduce the hardness to 0%, then increase the brush width using the right bracket key. And then I can just click drag and clone in over this area, like so. And then of course, we just have this area which is blurry here too. So again, I'll toggle the source preview, and then if I just go up one image, we'll see this area is sharp enough for us to use it to retouch. So again, I'll go back to my main focus merge result, use the left bracket key to reduce the brush width, and just paint in here to retouch this area. Okay, and then here's our final focus merged result with a much deeper depth of field.